Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Hanks with the Center for Autism Services and Transition here at the Ohio State Wexner Medical Center. The following is an educational video for medical professionals providing care to patients with autism to help you learn strategies that can be used during an EKG. I would also encourage you to have your patient with autism view the companion video on EKGs and discuss specific strategies that will work with them prior to their appointment. Visit our website and tip sheet for more information. Hi Max, my name's Lori and we're going to do an EKG today. As a healthcare professional, it is important to remember that when you are working with patients with autism, to strive to begin and end the appointment on a positive note. A few things to consider during an EKG appointment. After you introduce yourself to the patient, explain that you are going to do an EKG. If the patient has never had an EKG, offer an explanation of the procedure in the best way that matches their communication style. For some, this may be written formats, pictures, or visual models. It is always best to identify the patient's communication style so that your explanation will match. Check with the patient and their family or support team to help with explanations. If possible, offer a choice to the patient to sit or lie down for the EKG. Before beginning the EKG, state a clear goal to the patient that they will need to hold still for 30 seconds. For some patients, practicing this goal may help to achieve a successful EKG. If possible, use a visual timer to help. Before you begin the EKG, take a few minutes to review the equipment you will be using. Demonstrating the machine may help to alleviate any anxiety or concern the patient may have. Allow the patient to touch and see all the items that will be used during the EKG and encourage questions. This may be the first time they have seen leads and gowns, so a quick review and exploration of these items can prove helpful. Prior to the appointment, remind the patient to not wear watches, jewelry, or other items that may interfere with the EKG. Offering patients this kind of information before they arrive for appointments can be helpful. For the procedural steps of an EKG, demonstrate each step in person or show the patient the companion cast EKG video. It is recommended to allow the patient to see and experience the materials involved in the procedure to build comfort with each step. Bring extra stickers, gauze, and alcohol wipes for the appointment, just in case. The companion video will show patients how and where leads will be placed on their body. Have patients view this segment of the video prior to the appointment and practice placing a sticker on at home to help desensitize them to the process. Again, encourage the patient to ask questions and explore the leads and other items prior to the procedure. A quick demonstration of how the leads attach to the stickers is always helpful. Ask the patient to lie still for 30 seconds. Counting or visual timers can help patients achieve this goal. A practice run may also be helpful. It is always best to check with the patient and their support team for best options. Discuss the removal of stickers once the EKG is complete, as this can be painful for some. Remember, prepare your patients for procedural care by offering more time for questions, exploring materials, practicing steps, and providing learning through written or visual models. And as always, include the patient and their support team for best outcomes. For more tips, please visit our website. 